And Dorky Wondrous get us underway, then attacking the goal to our left at the start of this game. What a match that was on Tuesday night, just seven minutes away from beating their uh, Surrey rivals Woking. A little bit too much pace on that pass for Norm McManus, and Aldershot Town will bring it forward again now. A little knock on there from uh, Ryan Glover, and here's an opportunity for Tommy Willard. He got the shot away. Two or three minutes with that header from Norm McManus for Dorking Wanderers, which looped onto the bar. Oh, a lovely bit of footwork there from Tommy Willard, looking for some support. Finds Amaluza. Amaluza goes down, appeals to Porters. And uh, here's an opportunity as Jack Jeff Fries, Ryan Seeger, great chance, straight at the keeper. Archie Davis now with a bit of space on this right channel, swings it in right footed, and the header comes in from Effie Young. Just couldn't guide it towards goal, but he rose above the red and white shirts there. In the Effie Young, also there to receive it. The header comes in, and it was a free header, and what an opportunity for all the shot town. And Frank Vincent takes advantage of that little slip up there from McManus and he now picks out Ryan Glover on this right flank, just inside the Dorking Wanderers half. Glover to Amaluza. Amaluza in a tussle there with Jack Jeb. Amaluza still has it parallel to the edge of the 18. Your oh, box, that's a decent cross and the ball's in the back of the net and it's in the Effiong who gives all the shot town the lead here with 34 minutes played. options to the left of him and to the right of him one of which is Justin Amaluza. Amaluza combining with uh, Effiong, Effiong with a smart little bit of footwork and then he just rolled his shot wide of Dan Lincoln's right hand post but a great opportunity again there for the visitors. Final attack at the end of this first half Ed Harris now brings it forward midway inside his own half in a central position right footed and the referee signals the end of the first half and all shot town have the lead at the break here it's been an entertaining opening 45 minutes convinced he would because of the weight of times all the shot are getting in to Dorking uh, you know twice to every one time Dorking get in now I think the noise levels will ramp up as we get towards the business end of the match Holly Harfield on this left hand side to Cordner Cordner being shadowed by Phil Pop Cordner did well to get the cross out on the header comes in from Glover and he holds his head in his hands King half Effie Hong picks out Glover, Glover cuts infield, back to Effiong. Effiong, left footed to Vincent, surely number two, it's a great save, in fact it was straight at the keeper, but another terrific opportunity. As we approach the hour mark, and Aldershot Town really knocking on the door at the moment here at the Meadowbank Stadium in search of a second goal, as the cross is whipped in there from Harfield, and it's in the back of the net, and they have that second goal. it back in but again it's away by the shots who will look to mount a quick counter attack here and this is Tommy Willard now needs some support has Harfield behind him Effiong in the centre still Willard bobbing and weaving his way into the danger zone gets the shot away and that is a stunning goal from Tommy Willard a great solo run he had other options decided to go for goal a right footed shot low into Dan Lincoln's right hand corner. Directed towards a red and white shirt, it's away by Harfield as he lops it clear and the referee Allendale signals the end of the game and the three points go the way of Aldershot Town. Final score is Dorking Wanderers nil, Aldershot Town Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.